Why, hello, I didn't see you there. Now you all know them and maybe you're thinking about getting one, or you probably already own one, a gaming chair. Now, gaming chairs have been around for many years with the recognizable race car seat design, thanks to DX Racer setting the standard with the very first gaming chair back in 2006. And today, we're going to take a look at three gaming chairs that have taken that tried and true design approach and modernized it to accommodate the average gamer's needs. The Razer Inky, the Secret Lab Titan Evo, and the Herman Miller Vantam. And we'll determine which is the overall best gaming chair for both your wallet and your back. So let's give them a spin. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and this is Budget to Best. This is the Razer Enki. Now the Enki is surprisingly premium to the touch, as well as ergonomically comfortable, providing you with a built-in lumbar arch and fairly optimized cushion density. Now you get almost all the standard gaming chair features in the Inky. The 4D armrests, adjustable seating tilt slash rocker, and a very satisfying 152 degree recline radius. Now Razer also provides you with a memory foam pillow elastically strapped to the top of the chair. Now the one detriment I'd like to point out is the lack of adjustments to the lumbar support on this chair. But I do have to admit that particular area is firm and curved enough to provide you with additional support for your lower back. This particular chair didn't leave me feeling sore after a total of 13 hours of overall testing. At $399, you're definitely getting a very solid gaming chair that'll support you on both long work days and gaming sessions. Up next is the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 series. Now pricing for this one can range depending on how you customize your chair. Now the Titan Evo comes with a magnetic memory foam head pillow, magnetic swappable armrest tops, fully adjustable ergonomic lumbar support, a very satisfying 165 degree recline, and a multi-tilt tension that allows you to lock it in place when you find that perfect angle. Now, out of all the gaming chairs we'll be reviewing, this one is probably the most comfortable, in my opinion. Starting with the lumbar support, it's the most dynamic and advanced ever implemented in a modern day gaming chair, using a proprietary system that conforms to your spine. Gotta stress this, the amount of attention to detail Secret Lab put into its lumbar support is amazing. Like You can really customize it for additional support thanks to the interconnected hinges that actually flex with your movements and maintain back support. And with the added somewhat extreme recline, it provides the most comfortable position if you're gaming on a console in front of a propped up television. Now overall, the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 series is a solid option in the mid range of gaming chairs, meeting most of, if not all of your comfort needs for those long gameplay sessions. Like, I honestly wish I could, you know, do this while flying domestically because, I mean, I'd fall asleep like a baby. Yeah, it was great. And finally, probably the most prestigious of the three companies based on name alone, the Herman Miller Vantam. Now, coming in at 997, seven, seven, <laughs> Now coming in at $795, you get an adjustable headrest, subtle 4D armrests, a nice handle on the side, you can adjust the depth of the seat base, adjustable knobs for the lower lumbar place, and tilt adjustment you can lock into place when you find the right position suited for your needs. Now there's also a latch on the side of the chair that allows you to adjust the cushion seat. Now the Vantam is definitely more low key as it pertains to the overall look and probably more plastic than you'd expect a chair at this particular price range. But like most Herman Miller chairs, the Vantam puts ergonomics first and all the frills you'd expect from the typical gaming chair second. Now, taking a deep look at the lumbar support in order to really experience the best lower back support the Vantam can provide you, you'll need to properly adjust the angle so that the multitude of lumbar support bits perfectly aligns with your back. Now, one thing I, I kind of miss that you get from both the Inky and the Titan Evo is an extreme reclining position. But the Herman Miller Vantam was clearly designed to promote you know, upright posture while gaming, likely catering primarily to desktop gamers. 
And that makes sense when you think about it, as this is a collaboration with electronics manufacturer Logitech. Now you get an adjustable height leverage that'll max out at about four inches, giving the chair an overall height of 22 inches max. Perfect for those office or gaming desk setups. Now, while the Vantam is one of the least expensive Herman Miller chairs out there, it is one of the most expensive gaming seats you can buy. And with the amount of plastic on this thing, it doesn't really seem all too premium. But with the Herman Miller Vantam being designed to keep you in an upright position, well, you'll benefit from being able to stay alert while either gaming or working for long periods of time. So those are our budget, mid-range, and high-end picks. Now, as for which one I'd consider the best for my own personal needs, I'd have to go for the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 series. Now, the lumbar support on this particular gaming chair really did it for me. Like, I had to dock points for the other two gaming chairs, primarily based on the amount of detail paid to each one's lumbar system. Like ways they could have improved? Well, having an adjustable lumbar support system in the Razer Inky may have given it a bit of an edge. Had Razer gone with a similar system as the one found in the Razer Ishker with its convertible style lumbar support, it would have definitely been one of the front runners. And the Herman Miller Vantam's lumbar support is made of plastic, which made me worry that I might break it if I tried to adjust it beyond its flex capabilities. The Vantam also has its lumbar support in a fairly fixed position, so you're unable to adjust the height of it to give you additional support based on how tall you are. And the Herman Miller seat would have benefited from some sort of lowered recline tension so that you can relax a bit more, similar to what we see in both the Secret Lab and Razor chairs. Like I sometimes like to fall asleep in my gaming chair. I can't be alone in that. You know, maybe even like grab a blanket and watch a movie. The Vantam encourages you to stay upright, which is definitely great for those intense gaming moments when you need to be alert, but it only serves that purpose. So you'll have to find a chair that you can just veg out on somewhere else. But ultimately, the Razer Inky, the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022, and the Herman Miller Vantam each have their respective advantages that separate them from one another. It all comes down to what are you looking for in a gaming chair? But these are just some of our personal picks in the endless sea of gaming chairs you can choose from. I know some of you watch and probably have a gaming chair you're rocking with, so let us know which ones you have down below. And which of these out of our picks would you suggest or even pick? Maybe you own one of these chairs. Let us know what your experience has been like in the comments. Now for more on tech, be sure to check out our best gaming TVs video. Or if you're looking for a retro take on things, our CRT TV video. And for everything else tech-related, IGN.com.